What I want to do today is connect our Airtable and Notion apps so that whenever we post a new record onto our Airtable account, a Notion database item will automatically be created. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Airtable to trigger the creation of a new database item in Notion, I'll need to use Airtable as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Record as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Airtable sees that I've created a new record, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Airtable, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to connect your Airtable account. In order to connect Airtable to Zapier, we'll need to copy our API token into the authorization screen. To do this, go to your Airtable page, click on your profile icon in the top right-hand side of the screen, and then click Account. Next, copy the key that is given to you, go back to your authorization screen, and then paste the key. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to set up our trigger apps data. Select the base and table you'd like to use for your Zap and click Continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our action. Type in Notion in the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Create Database Item and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Notion with Zapier, just like I did with my Airtable account. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under Database, select the database you would like to use for your Zap. I'm going to click Tasks List. Once your database is selected, your Notion database columns will appear. Under Name, I'll click Name. Under Status, I'll click Status under the Custom drop-down menu and then I'll click Continue. Click Test Action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime we post a new record on our Airtable account, a database item will automatically be created in our Notion app. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.